Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. What it do? What it do? What it do, man? This is your boy Azakar bringing you flame. You already know, homie. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You be left in that loop, dog pound. Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, a League of Terms, J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, Two Ball for Sports, Two Ball for TV. Sisters be bringing it to you, feel me? Melanie King, Pink Book Lessons, Sister Dee Dee, The Crim Secure, Sister Dana. All you, you worthy YouTubers who bring the flame. Yeah, you can see I'm in like a little mild, little tone right about now. That's because we got ourselves, we got handed today by the Miami Heat. Just like what the Lakers are doing to the Warriors right now. But I just see so many Laker fans, especially at the job, man. They just really thought this is going to be a sweep. And to me, today, this game right here, yeah, the Lakers is... is Winning dramatically, but it's like Gold State just turning the ball over. It's like, are they really playing good? What what is this? Jamal Green got five fouls in the first half. Come on, man! It's just like you know what we is the NBA gonna make their money? And it is an ugly product that's out there. They really try to force LeBron James to get to the finals and all that. It's just like. It's sickening, really, how they orchestrated everything this year, man. But that's a whole new story. You feel me? Uh, but the Knicks are going to have to do something. We're going to have to do something. We're going to have to uh, give some knowledge right now. Knowledge from Brother Rizzo. We get this 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 uh, cooking session started. So when I get back, we're going to hit that on up. I'll let you in a minute. Right back at it, right back at it. Now, you know, especially then, you know, when you go out and about here in America, they always try to make the bad boy. The bad boy is always Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia this. Russia, Russia, Russia that. What about what y'all have done? The United States have done? Don't want to talk about that, do you? Don't want to talk about that, do you? Before we go there, we're feeling that Brother Rizzo. Brother Rizzo, let you know history, a little history of uh, America. Have you heard? It's a brand new day. It's called a bird. Here you go. The Russian thing, kind of crazy to think that they could weaponize our information like that. Right? And I find it funny all of a sudden America's talking about Russia, 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 when you sold our information to the national bankers. You've been spying on us since 9-11 with the Patriot Act. What the hell are you talking about? See, I don't get into that nonsense. Russia, calm down. Let's go back over here. America, what the hell are you doing? What have you been doing? You've been spying on us with all social media platforms since the very first one called Six Degrees. That's before MySpace, before PhotoPluck was added to MySpace, before Facebook, before Instagram, before all of those, America sold the access to the minds of the people people to vested interest groups, private corporations, the military, the CIA, and the FBI, so that we could be investigated in a way where we would accept, infiltrated in a way where we would accept. You point to Russia? Hold on. When it comes to America, I'm looking at what you have done to the people here. They always want to have us look at some boogeyman out there. You the boogeyman. Your policies that have been very detrimental to the freedoms of the American people, white, black, and everyone all in between. We have violated all of the constitutional rights of the people on a consistent basis and saying it's for the greater good. The Russian thing. Oh, boy, oh boy. Did he just cook right there? Did he just cook right there? But I got this right. This article right here I got to talk about, man. Ain't nobody really even cooking on it. As a three billion kidnapped lawsuit assault his fledging career. Wayne Johnson reportedly kicked out of the $4.5 billion Johnny Depp franchise. That's hard, ain't it? That's hard, ain't it? 
Y'all know The Rock, among the most highest paid athletes, actors in Hollywood at the moment. Y'all know he started wrestling. That was his first thing, you know, the WWF thing. Then he started making moves like Fast and the Furious, Jumanji. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody know his characteristic. You know, The Rock got the little eyebrow thing. That's his thing. You know what I'm saying? He's very uh, charismatic. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's a very motivating individual. <laughs> but his successful wrestling career helped him uh, step his game up and elevate his game to go transition into movies, which he did so easy because being a wrestler man that's that's all you're doing is like acting out things you know for for the for the fans and he became an entrepreneur a producer you know what i'm saying had little shows on hbo even a line of fitness products and tequila i mean dad the white child do do what it do baby do it what it do But there are, however, there are reports that uh, he has been removed from a Disney franchise. And I wonder why. Last year, Dwayne Johnson headlined the Warner Brothers. He did the little Black Adam movie. Despite highly anticipated, the film failed tremendously at the box office. Yeah, I mean, it just didn't. <laughs> Uh, that and Shazam, that, you know what I'm saying? Shazam was that garbage too. It was hot. It was hot garbage, trash juice, doo doo water. You know what I'm saying? I mean, vomit, feces. As James Gunn took over the new leader of the DC universe. John C. highly anticipated sequel was an ultimate scrap. Yeah, they 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 let that thing go quick. But in addition to his recent movie setback, Dwayne Johnson has faced serious legal issues that he has been named in the defendant in a three billion dollar a lawsuit that has moved forward in the court system. The lawsuit filed by Trinisha uh Biggers, Raka Khan, uh during her wrestling career, accuses Johnson and several others of kidnapping her and her children during the time of the TNA and WWE. Well, some serious, ain't it? Some serious. We don't want. We don't want the rock. Then I'm getting all you know, and I'm getting sick. You know, getting strokes and shit like that. High blood pressure. All of a sudden, going to the hospitals and disappearing and. Leaving messages and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This your boy Moosey. Do me a favor, man. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, man. Y'all, man, it's crazy, ain't it? Ain't nobody even talk about that. You feel me? But I'm leaving a link in the description box. You know me. Peace and bother haggards, people.